All right, try this problem on your own, and then press play when you want to solve it with me. Okay, so the volume of a large can of tuna fish. It can be calculated using this formula, volume equals pi r squared times the height. That's because, I guess, the tuna is a cylindrical can. And to find the, area, the volume, excuse me, of a cylinder, we do the area of a circle, pi r squared times the height. They want us to find the equation to find the radius, r in terms of v and h. In other words, get r all by itself. We do this in two steps. First, divide by pi and h. We're multiplying by pi and h, so we can divide by pi and h to cancel them out. So now, v divided by pi h equals r squared. To find r, we take the square r. To find r, we take the square root of r squared. R right, squared of r squared and the square root of v over pi h. Now, square root of r squared is just r, right? The square root and the square root cancel out, and r equals the square root of the volume divided by pi, the product of pi and h. That's our answer. Now, determine the nearest inch uh, to, to diameter, diameter. Remember, diameter is twice the radius. We take the radius, we double it, that's our diameter, of a large can of tuna fish that has a volume of 66 cubic inches and a height of 3.3 inches. So I'm gonna just use this equation here and then find r and double it. So it's going to be the square root of 66 cubic inches divided by pi times 3.3, .3, and that's going to give us r, and then we're going to double it. Uh, so I guess we'll just write this, right? 2 equals 2r, two and that's going to equal d. So with the calculator, we can do this pretty quickly. Um, it's 2, parentheses, square root of 66 divided by, use parentheses again, pi times 3.3, .3, close parentheses, and then close them again for the square root, and hit enter, and we get 5.046 to the nearest whole number, nearest inch is just five. So D is five, thanks.